Subtopic number three, which is on force on a moving charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. So we for this chapter we have magnetic force. So magnetic force in your formula is QVB sine theta, where theta is the angle between velocity and magnetic field. Okay, and the direction of this force can be can be determined using either the right hand palm rule or upon the Fleming's hand rule. On the right hand palm rule, um. If the moving charge is negative, the direction of the force will be opposite to that indicated by the right hand palm, palm rule. Lah. So, maksudnya kita punya instead of the palm, it's the back of the hand yang bagi tahu the direction of force untuk negative charge. Okay. For Fleming's, Fleming's hand rule pula, we have right hand and we have left hand rule. Uh, so, untuk right hand rule, kamu guna dia untuk negative charge. Where for the left hand rule, you will be using it for the positive charge. Okay. So, uh, these are the the direction lah. Maksudnya, the thumb will be pointing the direction of velocity. The palm is the force. The rest of the fingers are for the magnetic field. Untuk melev Fleming's hand rule pula, the thumb is telling us the force. The pointing finger is the magnetic field, whereas the middle finger is telling us the uh, direction of velocity. Okay. So the circular motion of a charge in a uniform magnetic field, a magnetic force will always be experienced by the charge particle, lah. and then the magnetic force pula can always be perpendicular to the velos to the velocity and is directed towards the circular center of the circular path. Okay, so, uh, what causes this particle to move is actually because of this magnetic force. Okay, sama juga macam kita belajar last semester for circular motion, the one that causes this. The particle to move in a circular motion is due to the circular centripetal force. Lah, okay, so we know that the magnetic force will then be equal to the centripetal force. So we get an equation for the radius of the circular trajectory, which is the radius uh, to be equal to this equation here. Okay, so ni cara kamu dapat this, this formula. Lah. Okay, kamu just equate magnetic force to be equal to centripetal force. Let me just make my phone silent. Okay, lepas tu, for the period pula, we can use this equation here lah. Alright? <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Let's look at example number 3 pula sekarang. Okay? So, we have to calculate the magnitude of the... Oh, where is my solution for example 3? Let me check. Okay, so, we have to calculate the... Velocity of the proton if it is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So given is the force to be equal to eh calculate the magnitude of the force. Salah, salah. So sekarang ni it is traveling at five times ten to the power of seven meter per second, and then the strain of the magnetic field is one point five tesla. So, sekarang ni kita perlu cari the velocity of the proton, uh, the magnetic force if the velocity of the proton is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So, sekarang ni the angle is 90 degree lah, okay? So, apa formula dia? F is equal to QVB sine theta, okay? So, Q is the charge of the proton which is 1.6. And then velocity is 5 times 10 to the power of 7. B is 1.5 Tesla sine 90 degree. So the magnetic force is then equal to 1.2 times 10 to the power of 11 Newton. Lah. Okay. The pass to the check up if the velocity of the proton makes an angle of 50 degree with the magnetic field. Sekarang ni angle dia 50 degree. So kamu just substitute lah dalam the formula. So this is 1.6, this is 5, negative 7, 1.5, sine 50 degree. Okay, so kamu akan dapat, oh, was it negative 7 at the, hmm, 7, damn, it should be negative 7, I'm gonna add negative 7 later. So masuk dalam formula, negative 7 na. that is... Eh, betul sudah pula. Okay, so ini kamu akan dapat 9.19, 10 negative 12 Newton. Let me just check. Did I calculate with negative 7 ataupun tidak? 
yeah you should put in uh, 9.19 the Oh, I think... Oh, ada, ada. Lupa ni lagi. Lupa. Times 10, negative 19. This is 5, 10, negative 7. 1.5, sine 50 degree. Then, I think you should get the correct answer. So that. Yes, 9.19 times 10, negative 12. Okay, so I'm gonna do a correction on that before I upload the lecture note lah. Okay, and then what else? Oh, that is basically the all. Uh, that is basically the solution for example number three lah. Okay, so that is all on subtopic number three.